A new $400 million hospital is in the works for the Cherokee Nation. It'll replace the existing Hastings Hospital. It's all a part of the Cherokee Nation's newly passed $3.5 billion budget. It's the largest in tribe history. 2 News Oklahoma senior reporter Justin Ayer explains why there is such a need. The hospital is nearly 40 years old, and you can tell just by the amount of cars here on a daily basis, it's seen its fair share of people. Cherokee Nation has long needed a new and more modern place to have medical service. Longtime Northeastern State coach Ron Cox is not alone with his thoughts. W.W. Hastings Hospital was built in 1984 to serve 60,000 patients a year, according to the Cherokee Nation. Nearly 40 years later, it's serving more than 500,000 patients a year. Regina King remembers working at Hastings in its inaugural year. Sentimentally wise, no, both ways. I think it's a good thing. She says some folks may feel inconvenienced at first. Some of the employees, I have a daughter that works there, it's going to take their parking lot <laughs> where they're going to build some of the new. Cherokee Nation Principal Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. says the $400 million will also be used for construction of a new health center in Salina. It's the biggest capital project in the history of the Cherokee Nation government. Chief Hoskins says the new hospital will be six stories and about 400,000 square feet. Currently, it's only 180,000 square feet. He says design is underway and construction is expected to begin later this year. A number of times I've said, this is just not enough. This is not quite right. Uh, the Cherokees need a lot more, and I'm certainly glad that they're getting it. The chief says the goal of the updated hospital is to have enough room and resources so patients don't have to be treated at other hospitals and health centers outside of the Cherokee Nation. In Tahlequah, Justin Ayer, 2 News, Oklahoma.